Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 76. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how a DMS temporary table space reduces concurrency of a reorganization operation. In this uh, slide talks about the problem scenario and the solution. The problem scenario is we have a DMS temporary table space and we are going to demonstrate how it reduces the concurrency of the reorganization operation. Usually when you uh, create the database, the default temporary table spaces are of SMS type only. There is no restriction. You can use DMS type also for temporary table spaces. But uh, be aware that this will have an impact on the concurrency of reorganization. So when I mean concurrency, uh, multiple reorg commands cannot be executed using the DMS temporary table space. So if you uh, do the uh, reorganization using SMS temporary table space, uh, that will be the solution. Like uh, multiple rear commands can run uh, concurrently. Okay, uh, the DMS temporary table space can be shared by only one process at a time. So that that is the uh, one rear process at a time. So the solution is do not use temporary table space for reorganization uh, which is like do not use the use option in the rear command or uh, try to use reorganize uh, command uh, using SMS temporary table space only. So let's quickly look into the uh, example so that it will uh, be better uh, to demonstrate with an example as usual. So here we have uh, connected to uh, a database RRR so we have two table spaces one is tempo so tempo is like a uh, DMS system temporary table space and temp space one is your uh, SMS uh, temporary table space so in two terminals I'm going to run multiple reorg uh, table commands so we have two tables here and we are in two different terminals we are doing that so let's just quickly uh, uh, do the thing okay so here I have started the instance so let me connect to the database. So here also I will establish a connection. So once the connection is established, so we will run db2 rear table space resrc using tempo. So tempo is like a, so I am not hitting enter right now. Okay. So two tables we are uh, uh, reorganizing. Okay, so here. Okay, now we we'll see that. So tempo is a table space, uh, DMS temporary table space. So here I have clicked in. Here also I have clicked in. Now let's check what happens. See here, the SQL error two ninety four. Uh, SQL 2216 SQL error two ninety four. So only one rear got successful. The other one got failed. So uh, this is the uh, thing that I am talking about. So if you do the same thing with instead of tempo, I say temp space one like that. Okay. So which means it is happening in a different uh, table space. S B A C E one. So now uh, both the things I can uh, start and it will uh, run. Uh, you know, multiple rear commands can be executed at the same time on different tables, obviously. Uh, yeah, so one this one got completed. So hopefully the other one also will get completed. Yep. See, so when you use uh, the table space tempo, so let me show you that as well. So DB2 list table spaces show detail. So tempo is a DMS system temporary table space. So you can look here. Okay. okay so you can see here now tempo is a database managed system temporary table space so when you use that we have demonstrated that you know like uh, you cannot run multiple reorg commands using this temporary table space so if you are using uh, if you are not using a temporary table space for your reorganization then the the table space in which the table data resides the same in that same table space only the reorganization will happen in which case none of these will apply okay so if you are using temporary table space for reorganization uh, you know for maximum concurrency use the system temporary table space instead of dms uh, temporary table space
that's the uh, tip that i am uh, demonstrating in this video uh, thanks uh, for watching this tutorial hope this tip was useful to you uh, subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy uh, on youtube uh, until uh, next video see you bye bye